Hey, Dr. Sands here. I wanted to take a minute to go over your upcoming assignment, which is a rough draft competing as a Christian organization. All right, so why don't we go ahead and hit the overview. <clears throat> Organizations face constant threat from competitors and business disruptors. Today's business leaders must be able to anticipate and position their company strategies in order to be able to be agile and remain competitive. You will always see, you will, you will analyze cases to identify potential business uh, disruptors through environmental appraisals and competitive analysis and propose strategies for meeting organizational challenges and optimizing competitive positioning while integrating uh, a Christian worldview. Yeah, that's so true because organizations that uh, the only the only uh, uh, you know constant is change. You have to be always up on your competitors, and if not, then you will be left in the dust. All right. So what do we have to do here? Instructions: Write a paper describing how Christian organization can thrive in a competitive business environment. Select a well-known Christian business. Research your chosen company. Consider using the following for your research. Scholarly sources, the company website, uh, respected news outlets, current reliable business sources. Describe your selected company's current position, background story, mission statement, vision statement. Pretty basic stuff there. Evaluate the company's current business strategies to remain competitive. Assess how Christian organization differs from its leading competitor. Evaluate the role that Christian values play as part of a Christian organization business strategy. How do Christian values align with implementation and the competitive strategy? Should go hand in hand, right? Describe how the implementation of competitive positioning strategies might differ from a Christian and non-Christian organization. Submit a rough draft to the submission page before the due date. Okay, so let's look at the requirements because this is what you're gonna, this ultimately is gonna frame up um, what, uh, what you're gonna write about. Okay, requirements, uh, citation requirements, minimum two. Now remember, for every citation and a reference, you have to use it at least one time in the body of your assignment and most likely more than once. Word count 750 to 900 words. And remember, the important thing is what you're writing about. So you have to ensure you get the breadth and depth in that. Uh, APA formatting, um, complete APA formatting. If you haven't watched my video I posted in the announcement section on APA formatting, please do so. It's really important. And it's gonna be very helpful for this paper because you're gonna have like seven sections of your body. Okay, so what are you actually going to write about with with you know all the um, instructions? How are you going to tee it up? So this right here, these bottom bullets, is how is what you're going to write about and how you're going to uh, frame up your paper. So APA title page, uh, then that's your title page and page one. You're going to have your paper title, then your introduction. Introduction to the entire paper is a paragraph, three to five sentences. Then these bullets right here are gonna make up the body of your paper. Selection of a well-known Christian business. Description of your selected company's current position. So what you need to do is in the instructions, right? You're gonna fold all that into these requirements. Selection of a well-known Christian business. Description of your selected company's current position. Evaluation of the company's current business strategies to remain competitive. And remember, we looked that up in here, right? Number three, uh, number four, uh, assessment of how the Christian organization differs from the leading competitor. Evaluation of the role Christian values play as part of the Christian organization's business strategy. Now, this last one is actually two parts you're gonna you're gonna need to write about. So, 
each one of these is going to be its own section on your paper, and each one of these would be a level one header because that's a distinctive difference. Description of the implementation of competitive positioning strategies. That's one and how it might differ between Christian and non-Christian organizations, that's two. So that last bullet actually has two sections you're going to break it up into. Now, what's also important is you look at the syllabus, because remember the syllabus has the grading rubric and how I'm gonna grade your paper, and it has the sections defined clearly on what you're to write about and how I'm going to grade it. <clears throat> All right, so here is the, um, here is the assessment rubric, assessment rubric, rough draft, uh, competing as a Christian organization. And so remember the sections we just went through, right? Those sections are right here. Selection of a Christian business, current positioning, competitive business strategies, leading competitor comparison, impact of Christian values. Now, remember, I said the last one was two, right? So that last bullet is uh, uh, competitive positioning comparison and explanation of issues. So when you are going to uh, create your paper, I would go in and start and put in selection of Christmas, uh, Christian business, which is going to be right after your introduction paragraph. And this will be a level one header. You're right about it. Current positioning, level one header, right about it. Competitive business strategies, level one header, right about it. Leading competitor comparison, level one header, right about it. Impact of Christian values, level one header, right about it. Competitive positioning comparison, level one header, write about it. Explanation of issues, level one header, and write about it. Then after that would be your conclusion and then your references. And that's how your paper should flow. So as you can see here, this each one of these sections, which should be a section in your paper, is going to have a grading, um, going to have a grading component to it. So again, selection of Christmas, Christian business, and doing, you know, exemplary, purposefully selects a well-known Christian business known to a large population with ease access to public company information. So now when you look at uh, exemplary, you look at uh, uh, purposefully, thoroughly, comprehensively, thoroughly, comprehensively, thoroughly, and et cetera. So, and that's what you're gonna need to take to get the top grade is thoroughly. Also, then lastly, of course, control and sy syntax and mechanics. Um, and this is where we'll look at, uh, I'll look at your writing style, APA, and et cetera. So that is how you should um, format your paper for this assignment and what your assignment's about. If you have any questions at all, then please reach out to me and I'm happy to talk to you about it. All right, thank you.